What's up guys, George here from TechStuff31 and today I'm going to be showing you how to reformat a hard drive for a Mac. I have the WD Elements or Western Digital Elements hard drive which I got on Amazon for only $65. You can check out the link in the description for an unboxing of that and I'll leave a link so you can buy it yourself if you are interested. It is a one terabyte hard drive which I think was a bargain. Uh, so we're going to be reformatting it today. It's very simple. All you got to do is plug it into the computer. And on mine, it does have a light on the front. I see it's lighting up, which I imagine means it's plugged in, which it is. Um, it's very simple. Now, all we're going to do is open up Disk Utility. So you're going to go to the spotlight in the top right-hand corner, and you're going to search for Disk Utility, and you can see it pops up. We're just going to click on that. And as you can see, it opens up. You can see on my, I have a MacBook Air, and it's supposed to have 128 gigabytes, but I, they're not always exact. So that's why I got this because just 120 gigabytes was not enough for what I was doing with the computer and I I got the computer pretty recently about a year and a half ago and I wasn't ready to buy a new one so this hard drive was uh, great just to take its place. And some people might wonder why you would ever reformat a hard drive but there are many reasons. Well not many but there are reasons. One of them is most hard drives come in a format designed for Windows and if you're on a Mac uh, it will not work. You cannot put files on it. It will keep telling you stuff that it's not working. It's not working. And it's very important to reformat it if you ever want to use it. And it's so simple, you might as well just do it. So what we're just going to do is click on the hard drive. As you can see here, it's the one terabyte Western Digital Elements, whatever that number means. I don't even know. Um, it's simple. So what we're going to do is click on Erase. You're not at, well, to reformat the hard drive, if you do have data on it that you were using previously with the Windows computer, you're going to lose it. There's no way to reformat it while keeping the data you had before, which is unfortunate, but if you are switching from Windows to Mac, there are ways you can fix. If you, you can, if you would, you could probably put it on the computer and then reformat it and put it back, but I'll leave that up to you. So what we're going to do, as you can see, I haven't reformatted it at all. This one actually does come um, formatted for Mac, which is nice, but if yours didn't, you would see next to the format area right here, it would say another thing. It might say XFAT, which usually is for um, Windows, and there are other ones you can use for the Mac, but I don't recommend you use these unless um, you want to encrypt it for some reason, if you have very important files or something like that. I recommend just MS-DOS-FAT, whatever. Um, I'm not exactly sure what FAT stands for, but this is the one you're going to want to go for at Mac. It's the most versatile, will let you do the most things. Um, so I just, just go for that one. We're just going to leave it how it is, and what you would do, you just then, you would, if you wanted to rename it, let's call it, um, let's call it hard drive. I don't know why I'm typing all caps. I just do that sometimes. I don't even know. I don't even know if this is the right thing. What we're going to do is click erase. We're going to, it has a partition, which is means, basically, if you wanted to have maybe have one section for you, one section for your friend, you would, it would be pretty much show as two different hard drives on the computer, but it's actually one. We're just going to click Erase after setting it to MS-DOS fat format. We're just going to click Erase, and as you can see, it's formatting it right here, and then doing some other things. But now it, but it would be formatted in this format. It's so simple. That's all you have to do to reformat it. And now I'll show you it even works. We're going to go into Finder, and Devices, we have Hard Drive, as you can see here. Hard Drive, that's what I called it when I reformatted it. And as you can see, uh, when it did come, it actually did have some files on it, but now it does not have any files on it. So let's just drag a picture over. Let me see if I can find a picture. Uh, as you can see, it's right here. I'm going to just drag this in, and it's on the hard drive. So what we're going to do, we're just going to eject the hard drive, and I'm going to show you that it actually works. I hit eject. When it, the finder window closes and you see the light turns off, that means you can pull it out. And it doesn't say it's wrong or anything like that. Now I'm just going to plug it back in just to show you it actually is on the hard drive and show you how quick the hard drive is to initialize and the computer will show you it's there with the USB 3. So we're just going to click on Finder. Let's wait a moment for it to show up. As you can see, it's already here. And you can see my picture is on the hard drive. Uh, yes, drifting. It's great. Uh, as you can see, the picture's on the hard drive. It's so simple how to reformat a hard drive. If you do have one, I did this. I've done this before. Uh, if you, because if you just have one sitting around and you're wondering why it doesn't work, very well could be it's a broken hard drive. Hard drives do fail. It does happen. 
Um, but if you do have one sitting around, you're wondering why it doesn't work and you have a Mac, or if it's formatted for a Mac and you have a PC, try and reformat it. Might, you might be able to save it. Uh, thank you for watching this video. If you did like it, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you didn't like it, leave a comment and tell us why you didn't dislike it so we don't make more low-quality videos in the future. Thanks for watching.